Madison, get in here. This war is going to end soon, and unfortunately so may the Grand Alliance that won it. Ike's going to let the Soviets into Berlin first, and once that happens, everything will change. The spoils of this war are not going to be land or riches, but scientific research. The Germans have a huge head start in jet propulsion and rocketry, technology that's going to change the world we live in. This mission that you begin today is why you were brought into the OSS. It's been in the planning stages since before D-Day, since before I even knew your name. Lieutenant, you're being sent back into Germany one last time, on a mission that just may determine the fate of the free world. 150 miles southwest of Berlin lies the Hartz Mountain Range. Buried deep inside it is the Nordhausen Mittelwerk plant, where the Nazis have been building their rockets ever since the Pienemunde raid in 43. The facility is run by the SS, and the toughest of the Waffen divisions are stationed there. The Germans consider the V2 program their last hope, and they'll protect it at all costs. We need to learn everything the Germans know, and bluntly, we can't let the Soviets find out. Your mission is to turn their own terror weapon against them, capture their research, analyze it the best you can, then use it to destroy the facility. I've been told that luck is when opportunity meets preparedness. If that's the case, Lieutenant, I wish you all the luck in the world. I hope to see you back in London soon. Buzz Bomb Assembly, 25th of March 1945. So, Patterson, we've reached the end of our journey. Colonel Hargrove briefed me on this mission over a year ago. At the time, I told him that I didn't think he'd ever find a field operative who could pull it off. Well, I'm happy to say that I've been proved wrong. It's been hard to get reliable intelligence out of Nodhausen. The Waffen SS has been extremely careful about screening any civilian workers for possible infiltrators. Luckily one of the scientists, Dr. Gronik from the University of Warsaw, has been feeding us scraps of information for the past couple of months. His French is rather poor, but if I understand his last communique correctly, the best way into the factory is through the V-1 buzz bomb assembly area. See if you can acquire the Germans' V-1 target list. Based on range and trajectory, we can backtrack from an intended target location to find a launch site. The V-1 is a nasty weapon, but it's easy to knock them out of commission, at east when they're on the ground. I speak from experience, I did a few raids on the France-based sites. Use a demolition charge to destroy the launch controls, then open the blast doors to exit through the V2 access tunnel.
Vengeance Production, 25th of March 1945, the Waffen-SS are the toughest soldiers in the German war machine, and you're about to go up against the best of them. Now that you've made it into the main production area of Nordhausen, there it's time to put our theories about the V2 to the test. As you know, we think the rockets are controlled by a navigational gyroscope that's programmed with the target's coordinates before launch. Procure a copy of the V2 schematics and analyze them, they should prove us right or wrong about the gyro control, if our assumptions are correct, you'll need to calculate a new course and then recalibrate the gyro accordingly. It's time to tap back into all that aeronautical engineering education of yours, Lieutenant. Your objective, bring the rocket down on top of the facility. Again, his French is atrocious. But our friend Gronik seems to indicate they've developed an experimental warhead for the rocket that yields almost three times the damage at the same payload weight. If this is true, most everything in the facility will be destroyed by the impact, so, in addition to the actual V2 schematics, be sure to locate a copy of the Nordhausen scientist roster. The boys back at OSRD will be very curious to see it.
This rare color footage captured by the Allies shows the early days of the German V-2 rocket program. Capable of hitting targets as far away as London, these so-called vengeance weapons were of great interest to the high command. One can only imagine the devastation if the Nazis had succeeded with their heavy water research and perfected an atomic warhead. Just as the ME-163 had ushered in the jet fighter, the V-2 heralded the beginning of the missile age, the implications of which would carry through to all the generations of mankind to follow. Gotterdammerung, 25th of March, 1945, in the pandemonium of your assault, the Germans hastily loaded the sabotaged gyroscope into the rocket for an immediate launch. Dr. Gronik knows what you're up to, so he's quietly made an exit along with someone named Werner von Braun. Before he departed, Gronik did you a big favor he cut the communications cable between Nordhausen's command center and the launch gantry. It goes without saying. But the gantry will be heavily defended. You've got to make it down there, Patterson. It's the only place to manually launch the rocket. You'll find a set of auxiliary controls inside the blockhouse. Begin the launch sequence from there. With the communications cut, there'll be no way for the command center to stop it. If you were successful in sabotaging the gyro, the V2 should go into Jimbo's lock just seconds after launch. Stay inside the blockhouse it's been reinforced to survive explosions of this magnitude. When the rocket comes crashing down on top of you, it will be the only safe place in all of Nordhausen. Bon chance, my dear friend. Good luck.
General Eisenhower informs me that the forces of Germany have surrendered to the United Nations. The flags of freedom fly all over Europe. Conspicuous gallantry above and beyond the call of duty, in action involving conflict with an opposing armed force, you, soldier, have been awarded the Medal of Honor. Congratulations. Now, I knew you were good. But I didn't realize how good until this moment. For demonstrating a seldom seen fortitude in the face of overwhelming adversity, for displaying an uncommon dexterity during the most extreme of circumstances, for brandishing an unwavering commitment through countless hours of trial and tribulation, you have been awarded the DreamWorks Interactive Medal of Valor. This commendation is only earned by a select few. All of us here at DWI send you our sincerest congratulations. <laughs>